The Sicilian Mafia, also known as the Cosa Nostra, is a criminal organization that originated in the mid-19th century in Sicily, Italy. The organization is known for its extensive involvement in organized crime activities, including extortion, smuggling, prostitution, and drug trafficking. The roots of the Sicilian Mafia can be traced back to the 1860s, when the island of Sicily was annexed by the Kingdom of Italy. Many Sicilians felt that their rights and interests were being ignored by the new government, and some turned to criminal activities as a means of survival. In the early years, the Sicilian Mafia operated as a loose network of criminal groups, with each group controlling a specific territory or activity. Over time, these groups began to work together more closely, and by the early 20th century, a hierarchical structure had emerged, with a boss at the top and under bosses, capos, and soldiers below. During World War II, the Sicilian Mafia worked with the Allied forces to help them take control of the island from the occupying German forces. This collaboration gave the Mafia a new level of power and influence, and they began to expand their operations beyond Sicily. In the post-war years, the Sicilian Mafia became increasingly involved in international drug trafficking, particularly heroin, and they also expanded into other countries, including the United States. This expansion brought them into direct conflict with other criminal organizations, particularly the American Mafia. The most notorious figures in the post-war history of the Sicilian Mafia was Salvatore Todorina, who became the boss of bosses in the 1980s. Reno was responsible for a wave of violence and terror that swept through Sicily, including the assassinations of judges, police officers, and politicians who had dared to challenge the Mafia's power. In response to the Mafia's growing power and violence, the Italian government launched a crackdown on organized crime in the 1980s. This included the famous Maxi trial of 1986-1987, which saw hundreds of Mafia members brought to trial in a massive courtroom specially built for the occasion. Many of the defendants were convicted and sentenced to long prison terms, including Rina himself. Despite these setbacks, the Sicilian Mafia has proven to be resilient, and it continues to operate today, though with reduced power and influence compared to its heyday. The 1980s were a tumultuous period for the Sicilian Mafia. At the beginning of the decade, the Mafia was still a powerful force in Sicilian society, with extensive influence in politics, business, and law enforcement. However, the organization was also facing increasing challenges from both within and outside of Italy. One of the most significant events of the decade was the assassination of Italian politician Aldo Moro in 1978, which was carried out by the left-wing terrorist group, the Red Brigades. The Mafia was suspected of playing a role in the kidnapping and murder, and the incident marked a turning point in Italian politics, leading to a crackdown on organized crime. In 1980, the Mafia carried out a series of bombings in Italy, targeting public places and killing several innocent civilians. The attacks were seen as a response to the growing pressure on the Mafia from law enforcement and the judiciary. In response to the bombings, the Italian government declared a state of emergency and launched a massive crackdown on organized crime. This included the establishment of a special anti-mafia police force, and the introduction of new laws aimed at curbing the power of organized crime. Despite these challenges, the Italian government continued to pursue a crackdown on organized crime throughout the decade, with a particular focus on the mafia. This included the establishment of a special anti-mafia police force, as well as the introduction of new laws aimed at curbing the power of organized crime. Today, the Sicilian mafia remains active although it has been significantly weakened by decades of law enforcement efforts. The organization continues to engage in a range of criminal activities, but its influence is far less pervasive than it was in the past.